This video is sponsored by PokedownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. The new Sword and Shield online booster packs are also available, so definitely check them out, PokedownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How amazing is that? Check it out. What's up YouTube, it's ZapdosTCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. In this video, we're gonna be checking out Green's Blood Cephalon. I know what you're saying, the Jirachi build is better, more consistent and all that good stuff. But I actually wanted to retry uh, Green's Blood Cephalon. We now have Lucky Act to patch our weakness against things like Marnie and Reset Stamp. So that does help out if you're on a low hand size. And uh, if they knock out like a Blood Cephalon, you get a huge amount of uh, benefit thanks to the Lucky Act. Getting uh, up to 7 cards in the hand. And uh, even if we have things like Heat Factor and a green which can get either like uh, your B-strings at a specific point in the game or uh, your fire crystals immediately. I do think that's an amazing feat uh, in this deck. We uh, are also running Victini Prism Star to get back all of our energy so you might even wonder why do you not put uh, in stuff like energy retrieval. This is not necessary because you can easily grab your fire crystals immediately and in the late game you're definitely gonna have enough to uh, last you through the game. We also have Burst GX as always. This is probably one of my favorite decks of all time since I got so many championship points with this list. It actually got myself the invite for the World Championships 2020 even though that got uh, yeah, postponed to 2021. Blasphalon is where it's at. Uh, we've seen it before uh, with Fireball Circus dishing out a huge amount of damage uh, with, of course, the help of Welder. We can accelerate all those energies easily and the more energies we have in the hand, the more damage we are dealing. In the past, I also had Beast Energy thrown in here, but I had to make room for one copy of Switch so we can actually pivot to our Kramer and V in the late game to get, of course, the last two prize cards on things like a Dedenny. So, uh, typically, Blasphalon will one-shot to stuff like an ADP, then uh, Kramer and one-shots a Dedenny, and then late game we just use Burst GX. So, that's how the deck typically goes. B-string is also fantastic because at a specific point in the game you can spam two B-strings at once on something like Balsafalon as well. So don't underestimate the power of B-string. Uh, it will be fantastic. You don't always have to rely on Welder. Sometimes that could be like a Green's Exploration for B-string and a Fire Crystal to get the KOs. So uh, I do love the fact that we now have Lucky Egg that uh, helps us out. And we even have Custom Catcher which and uh, yeah and uh, the uh, Jirachi build you just run like one great catcher maybe no great catchers at all but custom catcher will make sure we can target down on a specific Pokemon you don't want to bump into those uh, like non GXs you just want to take KOs on tag team GXs and uh, uh, with uh, the custom catcher you can even target down their uh, option like let's say for uh, instance, you're up against uh, a Malamar list, you can even cuss down their Malamars uh, with the Custom Catcher. Custom Catcher is good, the Greens list also wins against Mali versions. So we're gonna see how Greens build uh, works nowadays, definitely considering the fact there is a lot of a shakeup in the meta. We do see the Versus Ladder has been reset, and uh, the thing we want to find here is Green Blounds. I do think it's this list, yes, it's this list with the Custom Catchers. You could actually uh, put in some uh, Lily's Pokedolls in here and opt to go for Great Catcher. Lily's Pokedolls could help to stall off with the only bad thing with this deck is that sometimes you get donked. There's nothing you can do about that, just go to the next game. But I do suggest going second with this deck, always. Because the first turn support rule is not nice for a deck like this. On the versus ladder you can surprise opponents because they're always gonna try and go first. So look at this, the opponent decides to go first which is good for us. We would have chose uh, that option as well. So in this scenario, our hand does not look good. Uh, we can also not rely on the Danny Jack since that uses an ability. We start off with... Um, a Victini. The good news about this is that we can also use Custom Catcher as a draw engine. So uh, we can tin out our hand completely or we can just wait it out and hopefully we top deck something like a Welder or a Pokegear or an Acrobike. We do have lots of consistency cards in here. The opponent is playing a Picaram deck. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win because I uh, wanted to just revisit. Okay, just an attachment to the Picaram. Could be worse, right? So we're gonna go for Quick Ball. I'm gonna get rid of these uh, cards. So let's get ourselves Blasphalon. Could also get ourselves uh, Grammar and V, which could be fun, but this is where it's at. We have Fire Crystal, okay. Two custom catch. There's uh, one custom catcher prize either way, so might as well use the custom catcher to draw cards. There's uh, four Welder in here and four Fire Crystal, so that makes me want to go with this uh, scenario. We're gonna use uh, this. There's already like uh, these cards in the discard pile. I think I'm gonna go for uh, Fiery Flint. There we go. And I'm actually going to get one energy on my Blacephalon already. Could get more, but we need to draw cards. So uh, yeah, might as well do this. That means we can Quick Ball and attach at the same time. So we tin out the deck as well. So we are gonna go for a Quick Ball. 
Getting rid of another energy, I know it seems bad, but uh, it will be. It will get better, trust me. Gonna get out another Blown. We could attach to the Victini, but I think he's gonna be able to knock it out shortly. So for now, we're gonna go Custom Catcher, draw three cards. Could be worse, right? So we have a green. This green is gonna be fantastic. So we can use Acrobike first, see what we get. We got a Fire Energy. We could Welder, but he could actually Gust us down. Okay, I'm actually gonna grab that fire energy because we already have like welder and all the good stuff in the hand So we could welder for one energy, but uh, the better plan would be going for greens exploration finding ourselves a fire crystal In combination with maybe a lucky egg we could pop a lucky egg onto that victini Which could help us out in the long run. We already have welder in hand so I'm actually gonna do that. So if he wants to full blitz, he actually has to gust around us. Otherwise, Victini, if Victini goes away, that's gonna be terrible for us. But at least we still have enough energies to last us through the game thanks to the fire crystals. And we only need five energies in the hand to knock out a Picaron unless they uh, rely on the Big Charm, which could be an issue here. He only had one attachment of the turn, didn't have a supporter. Crushing Hammers? What is this? Crushing Hammer Picaron? What? Is this a green Picaron? I don't know, I've never seen Crushing Hammer in the Picaron. Maybe it's just in here for attack uh, against uh, Zacian ADP. Zacian ADP does attach on the first turn and then, then just passes or just uses Interpret Sword. Anyhow, at this point we're looking good because we can Fire Crystal. <laughs> Yay, hey, now they notice us, we're playing Green Blounds. Hello. Voltner it is. Is he gonna be able to get his uh, Stadium Navigator and uh, an Energy? Electromagnetic Raider. So he's gonna try and dig for as I have to guess here, it's probably gonna dig for Tapu Koko Prism Star or he's gonna dig for oh, even Energy Switch. So uh, with Electromagnetic Radar, he can get himself the Dany GX, he can get himself uh, another Picaram on the bench. I wonder how this will go. Don't even see Zero Aura just yet. And uh, I'm also scared to lose my Victini, but if he pops my our Victini, we at least get like a, a bazillion cards in the hand, which helps out a ton. And uh, at this specific point in the game, with Fire Crystal, we get three energies. We have Welder. The only thing we need is a Fiery Flint to w whop up this uh, Picaram, and we should be good. There's only two of them in the deck. Make me a little bit afraid, but I think he's definitely going to be able to pop our Victini. If not, we can uh, have the upper hand because uh, that leaves a full Blitz away. That means he still has to full Blitz. He can also Tag Bolt, which is a little bit of an issue because we can get donked at one point. We really need to find those Quick Balls. We already used two of them. We're not running Ultra Space anymore. We don't have the room for it, so it's going to be a close one. I was surprised with that Crushing Hammer though, so uh, let's see here. Is he going to be able to do it? Stadium Navigator popping off, and it is correct. One hit, finding him the Thunder Mountain. We are going to see a huge full blitz right here. We don't see a Picaram on the bench though, so that is very bizarre. Also Crushing Hammer coming down, it failed, and there's Thunder Mountain. And uh, Victini will go down. So uh, the good news is the Lucky Egg pops, which is something I wanted to showcase here in the Greens build. So uh, I want to use it in the late game. The bad news is we lose our Victini Prism Star. The good news is there's another tag team on board, so look at that. Not a bad hand indeed. So uh, we're gonna use Acrobike first, then Welder. And hopefully that will be enough to get us uh, enough energies. We At this point, we still need two energies uh, from either the Acrobike or maybe another Fire Crystal would be nice. So we draw three cards, we draw the card of the turn and we have Acrobite to dig two deep. So that means uh, we're gonna dig six cards deep in this turn, which is fantastic. Let's see here. We have a Poke Gear. Uh, I'm actually going to use the Poke Gear so we don't draw into greens. Okay, it whiffs automatically, okay. Acrobike, uh, finding ourselves a Fire Crystal. I think getting rid of a green is probably... How many greens in the discard pile? One. Hmm, yeah, Fire Crystal is more important since Victini Prism Star is gone. So for now, Welder it is. Hopefully we'll find ourselves a Fiery Flint or ways to discard some Fire Energies. Uh, there's another Energy in the hand here. We can get the KO if we get all of our Energies from the... We have to use like a couple of Fire Crystals here, which is the uh, annoying part. So, and also Thunder Mountain stays in play, which is also an annoying part. The good news is we do have Beast Ring. So, the Picaron will go down, we only have two Fire Crystals left and we got rid of a green. Hmm, hmm, yeah, that is not good. So here comes the Fireball Circus, getting the KO on Picaron, so at least we're still doing that, right? Nothing going wrong, we can V-String, we got three prize cards, so hopefully one of those prize cards will be either a uh, Fiery Flint, there's a Custom Catcher, there is a Heat Factory, and there is a Fiery Flint, yeah. 
Fiery Flint is what we needed here to get the combo going. He could reset stamp us at this point, which could be the scary part. Always the scary part if you're playing a Grease list. He's playing Hammers. I don't know why he would play the Hammers since he's gonna be able to get the KO anyhow. Maybe he's gonna play another to it down. The research? Okay, that's understandable. That's why you want to use the Crushing Hammer. Lots of Crushing Hammers in the Picker. I've never seen that before. The good news is that our uh, Blown will survive if he didn't even use Volkner, which reminds me he's not playing Marnie. And now we just have to hope he's not playing down a reset stamp, otherwise we could be screwed over, but uh... Quick ball, does he get rid of like more resources? There's already two to Dennis. Oh, Tapu Koko V, that's a two prizer. He could actually start uh, putting up some damage with that if he wants to. The good news is, is, is that as soon as Blacephalon pops, we can actually use B-String. He's gonna be at the B-String turn, so that's uh, a difference between Blacephalon with Jirachi and uh, Blacephalon with Green. And he starts attacking with the, the tree prizer. So uh, Tandem Shock, that's the only thing that could get down this Blacephalon. So we are now here with a lone Blacephalon. Having uh, lots of resources, I think we need green. Yeah, we will need green. Uh, first things first, uh, we could welder or we could green. Uh, okay, first things first, B-string is probably the better option here. B-string, two energies. There's already five uh, energies still left in the deck. So we B-string that. Uh, it's probably not needing any of the custom catchers. We're gonna go deeply for the KO here, digging for that green. One, two, three, four. Are there any greens left? Yeah, there's two of them in the deck. So two greens left. We get lots of energies. Uh, now we attach here. The only thing we need is one simple fire crystal. And uh, we can finally get that with a green. And uh, the only thing we need at this point, we could actually welder as well, but I think going for the heat factory followed it up by a poke gear will get us the maximum chance. There we go. Another fire <laughs> flint, okay. We're gonna get rid of a Welder, funny enough, and also a uh, Blasaphalon. I think this is gonna be it. Taking uh, another energy. <laughs> Yay! Uh, we're gonna use Pokegear. The only thing we need is a green. Come on, man. Finding the green. So uh, that's how the greens build works. So uh, green finding us the Fire Crystal that is in here. I know even two of them. So that's how the greens build lists. I uh, missed playing green. And I'm actually glad I was able to showcase that the green build still works, so uh, we're winning a lot against Picaron. We're gonna even go for the insane damage output. Well played, and look at this damage output. Fireball Circus for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 energies. Uh, that is a huge deal here. 450 damage show. Even the biggest of the uh, V-Maxes go down to Blasaphalon. That's what I want to showcase in today's video. Lucky Egg and Acrobat. It's fine. We're going to be playing another game. Uh, see if we're going to be able to uh, win against other decks. But the Greens list works. The only bad thing is that in a tournament environment, if it's best of three, this deck loses. This deck also loses if the opponent knows what you're playing. If they know you're playing a Greens list, they will uh, opt to uh, let you go first and then they're going to dunk you. So you always want to go second with this list. And uh, that's the main issue about this deck. If it's best of one and they don't know what you're playing, you're gonna be so happy you're playing Greens Blondes because it's one of the most powerful decks in existence. We're probably up against... There's a Fairy in there, a Darkness type in here, Lightning type, I don't know. It could be a Zacian ADP with Alolan Ninetales, could also be a Mewtwo list. We're gonna see. We won the coin flip, but as mentioned, you always wanna go second. Uh, because you're playing a greens list, otherwise it doesn't work and you get done. So we have the green, we even have Fiery Flint, so I uh, maybe opt to go for the Poke Gear and see if we find a Welder. But then again, it's playing safely, you have to go for another Blown, otherwise you get dunked. So I think green for an Acro, no, for a Quick Ball and a Welder is probably more safe. Although we can still use Poke Gear to see if we are gonna top deck a Welder, although if the opponent is playing Marnies. That's gonna be nasty. If the opponent is playing a lot of Marnies, you don't want to see that. But most of the time, they will play Research. So we're up against Vulpix. So I already knew the fire type. Okay, ADP with Alolan Ninetales. Interesting indeed. Does it play a lot of Marnie? I wonder. He's, they're using lots of uh, GXs though. So they're not rely relying on Jirachi, if I remember correctly, from this archetype. And uh, yeah, interpret sorb immediately, and uh, that already indicates that he's getting an energy. So this is looking scary. ADP with an energy. Welder to start off with. Well, it could be worse, right? We have fiery flint as well. Uh, at this point, uh, the better plan would be like to up our chances here. Well, we're definitely getting the KO on Vulpix, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, weldering. Ta-ta. We could get donk. So he could go for the donk, which is uh, 
a very nasty thing right here. Okay, Fiery Flint. We're gonna get rid of a Poke Gear and an Energy. We don't want to get rid of the Energies here. Maybe a Beast Ring. Could work in the late game though. We actually needed a Quick Ball. He could go for the Donk if he finds enough Metal Saucers. That's the scary part about this list. I w wish we uh, gotten something first. Maybe we should have used Fiery Flint earlier. But I think it's good. So I'm actually gonna get rid of these cards. Fiery Flint gets us one, two, three, four. With uh, the uh, green, we can definitely search another Fiery Flint and a Fire Crystal, so it should be good. But uh, the bad news is that, uh, yeah, if he gets the KO, it will be sad. Don't need the Lucky Egg just yet, although he could Marnie us, so I think I'm gonna equip the just and go for the Fire Bolt Circus, getting rid of these two. Good news is, without uh, the use of Jirachi, and uh, he is not able to play down things like. Hmm. Yeah, Metal Saucers at this point, I think we should be good. Also, we have a great hand. If we use green for a Fiery Flint, we get the KO here. While we can also get our second trainer card to be a Quick Ball so we don't get donked. So, I like the option here. Although, now he's gonna go deeply, Dadane, and search for Metal Saucer. The only thing he needs is a Switch card. Okay, Fairy Energy is going down the drain. Energy Switch as well. He needs a Switch card, he needs a Metal Saucer, and he needs a Manual Attach of the Turn. Will he get all of that to donk me? So, green's always a little bit scary. There is a, an uh, Air Balloon coming down. And, ooh, one Metal Saucer down, that's good. So let's just hope there's a couple of Metal Saucer Sprites and the opponent concedes, that's why we won it. We're actually gonna be able to one-shot that ADP very nicely, thanks to the green. He didn't find a way to even find a Water Energy or whatever, so the opponent uh, lost. So we won twice with Baby Blounts, green, so we're gonna be trying another game and see if this deck is still legit. It's so fun with the Versus Ladder. On the Versus Ladder, you're gonna have such an awesome time because the opponent will always try and expect, oh, he's paying Baby Blounts, I uh, will go first with my AB ADP list, and uh, they will opt to let us go second. I think this is going to be Baby Blounce uh, with Jirachi, so we're gonna see which version is better. The good news is, uh, those lists don't play Marnie or Reset Stamp. That means we would have an edge if we could get the first turn Welder off. Uh, we lost the coin flip, the opponent always will go first. As mentioned, versus ladder standards. And we have a Poke Gear and Fiery Flint. So the chance of us getting a Welder are way higher than the Jirachi build. They could use a couple of Stellar Wishes, but we can actually use Fiery Flint, thin out the deck, use an Acro Bike as well, then use Poke Gear, and uh, we're gonna get it from there on on. Okay, so this is uh, Blasophilon with Jirachi. And. Uh, in this match, I already know, uh, if he, uh, if we get the Welder first, we're definitely gonna get the game rolling. We even have Quick Ball in the hand. So, uh, we're not gonna get donked, which is good. So, this is actually a perfect opening hand. The only thing is missing is a Welder. So, if that Poke Gear could find a Welder, it would be fantastic for us. The opponent only attaches an Energy, uses a Stellar Wish, and it's probably gonna end the turn. Also, a good thing is, we run more physical energy, so with Blazer, we could somehow find success this point I think I'm gonna go for good old fiery flint getting rid of our couple of energies here one two three four and we also have custom catchers to uh, knock out things like or choreo or zation or whatever that comes in his way how many energies do we have left five okay one fire crystal is prized there's four welder in there ladies and gentlemen uh, victim is also in here which is a huge part of our deck gonna do that do it like that uh, also gonna use the quick ball here Getting rid of one energy again for Blasophilon. And uh, we're we have five energies in there. So let me just do the calculations. Five energies in here. That's ten. And then three energies there. So there's two energy sprites. We could blazer and have a little bit of YOLO effect. But uh, the only better thing... Yeah, we have green. So we're going to have to use the blazer, unfortunately. But the good news is we have immediately access to... Uh, we can uptrade on those uh, Oracorios and all the good stuff. What do we want? Uh, maybe a Lucky Egg onto our Blown and a Welder. Although getting another Basic would probably be more important at a point like this. Can use our Lucky Egg later, so I think this is a good hand for now. Yeah, let's do it like that. Alright, uh, probably doesn't run Custom Catcher, so we're probably safe if we use Quick Ball again. Maybe we up our chances, although we still need to have ways to knock this guy out. Well, finding one Fire Crystal would be enough. I'm gonna wait with the quick ball and see how we go from there. So Blazer, there is a two and a six chance. And this is gonna be it. Yes, Blazer for uh, the KO. Wow, yeah, 
that's what I mean. Uh, playing more physical energies. I'm gonna take this. Maybe it's a fire crystal. It's a bee string. I'll take it. So we don't always have to rely on the welder. So that's a good thing. Oh yeah, they are surprised. We're playing the greens list. Okay, as mentioned, we can upgrade on that very nicely. He has Lucky X as well. Hmm. Blazer, okay, doesn't seem to have a supporter. We knocked out his Jirachi out of the park. Okay, he also takes a successful Blazer. You have a good deck. Okay, now, while we're at it, we could use Fiery Flint again. Uh, yeah, we're gonna wait. We're just gonna go with the Welder. One, two, maybe we find some custom catchers. Could be fun. Okay, we have one custom catcher. Not enough though. Uh, don't need the quick balls just yet. Uh, we still need more physical energy. So Fiery Flint, there's still five of them left in the deck. Gonna get rid of one quick ball. We're probably gonna be drawing into some more Pokemon soon. He's gonna attack with this card. Do we need the B string at one point? I think we're gonna be so, so ahead in prize cards that we don't need the B string. So I'm gonna get rid of... We also have Victini. So uh, could be getting rid of some more energy, right? Gonna get rid of B string and uh, energy. Gonna get rid of uh, our, get ourselves lots of energies. He's probably not running custom catchers. He shouldn't be, right? Next up, we can just safely attach to a Victini. I think Victini is a good choice at this point to gen upgrade because we're gonna be losing so much energies at this point. Energy there, and then uh, three energies. He's gonna uh, get, of course, his bonus with the Lucky Egg, getting three cards in the process, or actually two cards only. But we get an extra prize card, and the next Pokemon that comes across our path, we can also destroy that. Victini, uh, eight energies in the discard pile. There's gonna be more. We do need that one physical energy right here, uh, because we don't have anything else to go for that matter. And also, that physical energy might provide us. Yeah, definitely gonna take that. That means Victini can uptrade and one shot Victini V, <laughs> which is very funny if I say so myself. So that's gonna be 160 damage with the three energies in there. That's an additional of uh, 90, actually 60 damage. That means 11 and 220. So even if this guy got a big charm, which I doubt he would use that, we're gonna be able to one shot this guy. So the greens build, obviously more successful in the best of one if you go second. Also, we had a bit of luck with that blazer, which was fantastic, but you run more physical copies of the fire energy, so it's more, more normal for us to use blazer. Also, we uh, also use blazer because we are using green at one point and we don't run Jirachi, so we do need to, to use an attack at one point. Blazer could help in certain scenarios to soften up damage output, let's say against an Olo on Raichu, Raichu Tag Team Jax with 260, soften it down to 250. Same goes for a, a Guardian if you come across that. There goes the Quick Ball. Is he gonna get another attack Rob? Maybe a Rokorio to draw himself some more cards. We do have custom catchers. Okay, there's Blastophalon again. He's uh, using Victini V, so we're gonna be able to upgrade very nicely. And at one point, he will have to rely on either the Dane GX or Rokorio GX, which is totally fine with us. At this point, uh, there's gonna be 11 energies back in our deck. So, uh, also still two Fiery Flints left. Yeah, Victini, it's your turn to shine. So... Uh, we still have a welder left, which is uh, a very good thing for us. So I'm actually going to go for... Hmm. We could welder two energies on a blown, but it's not going to be necessary. So I'm going to welder one energy over here. Ta -da 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 -da. We have more welders to spare. I think uh, welders will be good as soon as we find something else. A green could be nice at some points. Custom catchers, also good. First things first, Acrobite, what do we get? Heat Factory or a Blown? I think we need the physical Blown, although Heat Factory could be better. We can still find Heat Factory with another card. Hmm. Physical Blown, we will go down one Blown, so I'm not gonna get him the satisfaction to use Heat Factory, so we are gonna smack down another Blown. We could go for the Poke Gear. We can actually do that later. The only thing we need at this point, we're definitely gonna get an energy. So we can welder on here, get an energy, maybe find fire, fiery flint. Mm, yeah, definitely gonna go with the Poke Gear right now because the chance of us getting a supporter would have been higher than uh, if we shuffle in bazillion energies. Could get rid of a welder, but welder could also one shot. So I'm gonna go for the infinity, playing it safely, getting two prize cards, shuffling all the stuff back. I know that seems bad, but uh, he's not gonna have a reset stamp in his list. I, at least I hope. Fire crystal coming at a late time, man, and acrobike. So acrobike, uh, quick ball, and welder. 
Victini will go down, so uh, the Fiery Flint, actually the Fire Crystal will help to uh, provide us with energies on the Blown, which is actually not too bad. So I actually love that Fire Crystal. Victini is on a Rampage, so we only need to take two more prize cards, and actually just one more, and then we can use Burst GX as always. We still have the Quick Ball in hand, so didn't even have to use it. Alright, so this list is rocking out, guys, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the content, and... Uh, I think I'm, uh, I'm very excited with greens blounds. The only thing is that if the opponent knows my list, they will let me go first and I get dunked. So that's the only issue with this list. I would love that uh, the Limitless TCG qualifier number two was not with an open deck list. Would be way more fun, but uh, you cannot like uh, check if the opponent's playing the exact same 60 cards. So I understand. But in a, a real life tournament, if the opponent doesn't know what you're playing, you're going to be so much better off. Definitely like an elite challenge or a... Uh, leak up it wherever it, whatever it is if it's best of one and they don't know what you're playing you're gonna be good and uh, probably better in uh, bigger events because in smaller events they already know oh it's this guy he plays that deck okay just a blazer uh an unsuccessful blazer to say the least so weird okay acrobatic uh yeah i think i'm taking the green now i'm gonna go for the green route uh gonna go so i'll go another acrobatic do we need Cramorant? Probably not. Probably not, but I'll still take it because we can retreat and then use the uh, Welder onto our Blacephalon. Uh, will that be a good option though? Will that be a good option? We can immediately use... He can actually knock out Blacephalon GX, then we can upgrade very nicely. Okay, then Welder onto Cramorant. I think it's not a bad idea. We're gonna go for Quick Ball. We don't even need Custom Catchers at this point. Gonna get ourselves Blacephalon GX. Here we go. We're gonna go for the Fire Crystal. Ta-ta. 4-1. Okay, why did I do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, I actually wanted to do something else, but that didn't matter at this point. We're just gonna retreat, go for Burst GX. Uh, and uh, at this point, we are gonna get ourselves, even if he doesn't knock us out, yeah, Fiery Flint for sure. We already have Welder in hand. Could even pop a Lucky Egg onto our main guy. There's gonna be energies in the discard pile as well. How many energies in our deck? Wow, bazillion. And we're also gonna top deck an energy, presumably. So we already have all, everything we need to finish up this game. We can Welder onto Cramorant. Might even smack the Cramorant down, now that I think about it. So we can Fiery Flint onto it and just take the game from there on on. Unless he has a Mew and a big HP Pokemon on the active, then things could change. But at this point, we have so many options. We At this point, we're never gonna get dunked, which is good. And the only thing we need to do is like Welder onto Cremoran to knock everything out at once. And we do have Fire Crystal to get two energies. If Blacephalon GX goes down, we're probably gonna top deck an energy at this point since everything is shuffled back in the deck. Three energies, come on, knock out Blacephalon GX. That means we also have access to uh, V-String at this point. So everything can actually knock out this guy. Cool. So, uh, yeah, our main plan of action was already clear as it is. We're actually going to take up the Jirachi. Cleaning up the consistency here. Yeah, at one point, yeah, definitely have to go for Blacephalon. But I actually want to destroy some Jirachis this time around. So Fiery Flint, we're going to get rid of a Welder and a Green, funny enough. And one, two, three, four. There we go. Four energies, and then Cramorant shows a little bit of action. So you can either retreat the rear Vikini or use the physical switch that is also in here. Ta da! Well played. You have a good deck. Split shot. Uh, I'm not gonna take Bosephalon. Yeah, of course. Our blounds are better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Greens Blounds. If you did, be sure to demolish the like button. Uh, let me know if you're gonna try out Greens Blounds once again. Give it a second chance, as a, as to speak, because first turn supporter rule was hard for this deck, but it's still uh, seeing success, as you can see in this video. Also, uh, yeah, subscribe for more content, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Stay fresh, stay safe, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.